we're just going to get right to work. Um, that's because, well, because we have a lot of work to do, um, and because those of you that are here, and hello and welcome, are going to be doing something slightly different. Same assignment, same project, different materials. I teach two different engineering classes, so introduction to engineering for a freshman, and then the following class, which is principles of engineering. Those classes are, especially intro to engineering, a huge overview of everything engineers do. So we look at career stuff, um, like what are the careers in engineering and how does engineering affect the world. And then we also just learn a lot of engineering skills from sketching and design, uh, a little bit of math skills. Um, and then this class is principles of engineering. That focuses more on like mechanical and civil engineering, getting real deep into the math and more into building machines and eventually building robots. Remember that a lever has, I think, four parts, sort of depending on what you count. Certainly it has a fulcrum and a lever, you know, some rigid object that is the lever. And then we also need an effort force and a resistance force. Today they're building levers, so we're finishing up a unit on levers as part of our unit on simple machines. And so they're just building levers and then doing calculations about them and just feeling how they work. Here is honestly the hardest part. You all want to just build this, just right off the top of your head. And that's okay. That's what I wanted to do. That's, that's how we do things, I think, just in general, is you just want to get started. Um, if you do that a little bit, no problem. But at some point, before you build your final lever, I want you to stop and develop your solution. Draw a sketch using all our new sketching skills of the lever and list those supplies. I've got a class of about 20 students. I have four of them here, and the other 16 are online. Here they're working with the VEX equipment. This is something that in a normal year we use almost every day in this class. Um, it's all sorts of building supplies just for engineering students. The other students are building levers out of stuff they find in their house. So the wooden serving spoons, and I just talked to a student on the computer, and he had a whole contraption with oh, clips and coasters and textbooks. So just building with whatever they have. Everything in those yellow boxes and about half the stuff in that big kind of greenish cabinet over there is this VEX supplies. If this was a normal year, we would have already been using this. We'd already learned some skills with it. Uh, the <laughs> almost endless the possibilities, but certainly you can build um, complex robots. So mostly today we're just working with the metal parts and screws and hinges and things. Um, but later in the year, there'll be electrical sensors and ways to connect them to a computer. The students will be programming their robots. Yeah, you might end up needing another support since this is sticking out, but you've got room to build that, so I trust you'll figure it out. Off to a great, great start. I think they get a good foundation of what a career in engineering could be like. Uh, they get a lot of reinforcing of just their math and science skills. And then especially in this class, they get that hands-on experience of realizing that when you design something on paper and you plan it in your head, and then you build it and you realize all sorts of problems arise and just that problem solving and real hands-on mechanical skill I think is the most important part of this class. I want to see some pictures of those levers. So if you have already built it, even if you're still working on the assignment, um, take a picture of that lever, preferably like with your hand using it, um, and share it on the discussion channel so we can see it. And then we just have a lot of great engineering students here at Southeast. We're growing this program every year and excited to get even more students back in the building, hopefully uh, in the future. One more thing to, for you to do at the end, and that'll just be uh, show off your cool lever you built.